Vlogtober day 27, and John and I are at dinner at a place called the Brilla Box. It took me about 45 minutes to an hour to get home because I was stuck in traffic. There was an accident. Oddly enough, there was an accident going to work and an accident on the way home from work. Trapped in traffic because there is, and at a standstill, there's a crash ahead, maybe two. So, what should be maybe a 30 minute commute home is probably going to be 45 minutes to an hour. I just hope that nobody is hurt. Thankfully, uh, they didn't appear to be fatal. Well, hello. It is just past seven. It's about quarter past seven. John and I just got home from dinner at the Brillo Box. John had some, um, a vegan stew with red beans, and then I had um, seitan wings and an order of this Creole cauliflower, which I think I'd had one once before, and I forgot that it was breaded and fried, so uh, I'm not feeling so hot right now. That is not to say that I never eat fried food and that I don't make um, less than healthy choices when it comes to food, but the volume of the uh, fried food was probably more than I'm used to, so I anticipate an evening of a tummy that does not feel so great. For the Brillo Box, we headed over to another part of Pittsburgh called Shady Side. There is a beauty store that opened over there, a uh, small business. Uh, she used to be in my neighborhood, and then uh, I know she had problems with the space and closed and moved to a different location. So I walked all the way over there, anticipating uh, making some purchases and then sharing them with you. But to my dismay, when I got there, I was on the hunt for some RMS Beauty products, specifically the Uncover up which is a concealer slash foundation I was looking interested in looking at the powder that she has and then I also wanted to buy a brow product eyebrow product which is not RMS but she had two uh, kind of vegan eco brow products listed and they weren't brow products for filling in your brows but rather for moisturizing your brows Really, you can't just use a moisturizer for that. And then as far as the RMS Beauty is concerned, she is carrying it, but she had one eyeshadow, one luminizer, one lip shine, one of the concealers, and I don't know, one other product. I'm not sure what it was. But um, the concealer that she had out might have been the color that I needed, but it might have been one color too dark. She didn't have any testers. And she literally had one of each of the products that I just mentioned. So I've come home empty handed with nothing to show you. One of the things that I'm more interested in than beauty products is sunscreen. I'm very religious about the application and reapplication of sunscreen, wearing protective clothing whenever possible, hats, gloves, you name it. So in the dead of summer, you will see me driving with UVP gloves on to protect the back of my hands. And then throughout the day, when I wash my hands, I still reapply sunscreen because I sit near a window. But uh, I think I'd shown you this uh, Biore UV face milk that I received. I ordered it from Amazon really small size. I think it's just kind of a little over one fluid ounce. I only paid eight dollars for this. I've only had it for maybe a week and I've already used about half of it. So I foresee me going through this very quickly and perhaps too quickly. I like to layer over that a uh, physical sunscreen and I use right now I'm using the Josie Marin. This is the Argon Daily Moisturizer with SPF 47. The price tag on this is pretty hefty, but I really love it because it um, is kind of a two for one. It's sunscreen and a moisturizer. It definitely has a little bit of a white cast, but that kind of sinks in after a while, so I don't mind it. It's pretty cosmetically ele elegant. Obviously, it's not as cosmetically elegant as a non-physical sunscreen would be. This is kind of my dynamic duo, but I am always on the hunt for for uh, great 
face sunscreen as well as great body sunscreen. And I do like doing a double layer application of non-physical, then physical, and then sometimes on my face I might put a tinted moisturizer with an SPF in it on as well. I realize that my sunscreen vigilance might strike some people as insane, but in the last 10 years I've known five, a minimum of five people who have had skin cancer. So it is something that I do take very seriously and uh, I hope that uh, you do too. Have a great evening. Thank you for watching. I will see you for day 28 tomorrow.